In this video, we're going to compare the responses from ChatGBT4 with Claude 3's Opus model. Now, this is a new model that Claude recently released, which is built by Anthropic, which is supposed to be potentially even better than ChatGPT4, or at least on the same level as ChatGPT4. We're gonna be comparing both of these models. Both of these are the paid $20 a month version models. So if you wanna use these models yourself, you have to use um, their paid pro version. Uh, but in this video, I've already paid for the version, so you can compare them without paying for it yourself. I think you're gonna be surprised by some of the results that you see in this video. And by the end of the video, you're going to be able to make your own decision about which model that you like better. This video is brought to you by No Code MBA, a learning platform where you can watch in-depth, high-quality tutorials taught by experts to learn how to use no-code tools like Bubble, Webflow, Airtable, Zapier, and more to build real-world applications. And you'll also learn how to build AI applications, such as a text generation app, or an image generation app using Bubble and AI APIs such as OpenAI and Anthropic uh, right here. So the two APIs that we're working with in this video, you could build uh, your own applications that utilize uh, these APIs. So let's go right into the comparison. So the first prompt that I gave both of these models is asking it to write a blog post about the future of AI in the workplace. You can read the full prompt here. I tried to give it a little bit more details about um, how to structure the article and the length. And uh, right off the bat, there's a couple things that stand out to me. So first is ChatGPT did a nice job of adding headers here um, where the Claude model did not. Now I'm sure I could have added that into the prompt and it definitely would have done that. But, but just off the bat, that's something that I noticed. Then I read these blogs in a little bit more detail. And you can do the same by pausing the video and actually reading the blogs. I'm not going to read them all uh, on video right now. But in my opinion, the Claude model wrote in a more conversational tone that didn't sound as much like it was written by AI. Now, I'm sure there's also things we can do here with ChatGPT4 in terms of the prompt to improve this. But again, I'm just comparing uh, these prompts exactly and trying to get a high level understanding of which one I like more. Uh, so in this first test, I preferred the Claude model for writing a blog post. So the next prompt that I gave both of these models is asking it to please plan me a five day trip to San Francisco. So for this prompt, I didn't give it quite as much detail because I wanted to see what it would come up with. So I'm gonna pause the video, let it finish, and then we'll come up with our winner for this task. Okay, so we have the final results, and there's a few things that stand out to me here with these results. So first, I like how ChatGPT had uh, descriptive headers for each day, whereas Claude just did day one, day two, day three. I also like how ChatGPT split up each day into morning, afternoon, evening, and really gave a lot more detail in the specific um, things that they were suggesting that you do each day. Uh, versus Claude, which gave much more basic um, uh, plans for each specific day. Uh, and then ChatGPT also did a nice job with adding uh, uh, tips about the weather and transportation and reservations. So overall, I would say ChatGPT definitely won this round. I think that uh, it did a much better job of planning a five-day trip to San Francisco. The next thing that I'm going to test these models against is real-time information. So I'm going to ask, who do the New York Knicks play tonight? So right off the bat, we can see Claude does not have real-time information, while ChatGBT does. So this is pretty important um, right now. Uh, maybe in the future, uh, Anthropic will add real-time information to uh, the Claude model here in the Claude chatbot so that it can access that real-time information. But right now, if you need real-time information, uh, ChatGPT is going to be a much better option for you than Claude. For the next test here, I'm going to compare uh, Claude versus ChatGPT for another marketing task. So this is going to be asking the model to write me five tweets to use for my company, No Code MBA, a no code learning platform to share the value of different no code tools. Don't use hashtags and write conversationally. So uh, fairly vague. If I were um, going to use this for marketing, I might need to make this a little bit more detailed. But again, I just want to see how these models do 
on a base level with uh, more kind of open-ended prompts. So let's go ahead and share these prompts here. Uh, so here it looks like actually Claude started a little bit more quickly. Uh, so let's see how they do. I'm going to pause and come back to it. All right, so looking at both of these results, I would say they are actually fairly equal. I don't think that either of these results are incredible. They're not amazing. I might want to edit them a little bit more before actually using something like this. Um, I'm sure that if I modified the prompt a little bit, I might be able to get both of these models to give me a better result. Um, but just off the bat, I think this is closer to a tie. Um, they're both not bad, uh, but I think they both could use a little bit of improvement. So that's kind of my takeaway here between these two uh, models uh, for uh, the task of writing a tweet. For the last test here, we're going to ask both of these models, what are the potential long-term impacts, both positive and negative, of widespread adoption of autonomous vehicles? So my thought here is we're going to get insight into how the models can reason and give opinions of different points of view. So I'm gonna pause the video, let these both run, and then I'll get back to you with my thoughts. Okay, so I just read the answers to uh, the question from both models. And I think this is, again, a tie. I think both are actually very good answers. They actually gave very similar answers and structured it very similarly as well. Um, so to me, this is a tie. I think that um, both did a very good job and um, also, again, answered it um, pretty similarly. What are my overall thoughts on uh, GPT-4 versus Claude at this point? I think that really they both are very similar in the type of results that you're going to get. Um, we saw in the uh, first test that I thought Claude did a little bit better in writing a blog post in a little bit more of a conversational, natural way. Um, but then I saw uh, ChatGBT uh, did a little bit better in actually planning a trip and giving details uh, for that trip planning. And then in the other tasks, I found them to be pretty similar and there wasn't a huge difference between using GPT-4 and Claude. So overall, I recommend you check it out yourself. If you have $20 to spend and you want to actually use one of these models, that's the best way to actually see which one that you like more for your specific tasks. Uh, each model, so GPT-4 and Claude, are going to be slightly better and slightly worse at different tasks. And the only way to really understand that, especially with these models being fairly new and Claude being really new, just being released recently, uh, the Claude 3 Opus model, uh, is to actually use it and see which model works best for your uh, use case. Again, this video is brought to you by No Code MBA. Be sure to click the link in the description to check out all of the courses on No Code MBA and see if it's something that uh, you might find useful. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more free content in the future, and I'll see you in the next video.